Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chief Technology Officer of Amazon.com, Werner Vogels. There has never been a better time to build uh, applications as now. Yeah. Your applications now are more hardened. They're better, they're faster, and they're stronger than that they have ever been. I'd like to invite Godfrey Sullivan, the CEO of Splunk on stage, to talk to you about how they are integrating with AWS. Cloud is the new data center, and AWS is the best data center. A good example of that that you'll hear at the session is Coca-Cola. They've taken all their consumer division apps and they're moving, moving them all to AWS. We're all in on AWS. Our cloud services run there. Our software products are designed to run there. And Splunk can help you move your apps there with confidence. And I would like to invite on stage Phil Sand, chief engineer and co-founder of OmniPhone. You know, they say if you don't rewrite your own software, somebody else will do it for you. So three years ago, we decided to rebuild ourselves on Amazon Web Services. For us, AWS was the only choice. What you're looking at here is not just a list of features. These are all individually and geographically scalable AWS-hosted services. And I think in most organizations, agility these days is the holy grail. Yeah, the ability to experiment and to deliver new functionality really quickly. And we'd like to invite uh, Bryson Keiler on stage of the weather company to talk to you about how they are moving much faster. Weather impacts billions of people every day. We chose AWS because it gave us the confidence that we needed to be able to move forward. We use a fleet of services across the board that gives us the ability to, to produce and distribute upwards of 15 billion forecasts every day. Higher fidelity, higher accuracy, at much lower cost, at much greater speed. What more do you want? Before I go any further on this, I would like to invite Patrick Colincherry on stage, who's the co-founder and CTO of Pristine. Pristine is an Austin-based startup that connects people to, and professionals through Google Glass. Our product, EyeSight, broadcasts what that you're seeing through your eyes through people around the world to any device. Docker and AWS are perfect companions. We're using Docker with AWS to go streamline, to build a streamlined deployment process. What if you could get all the benefits of containers without the overhead? Introducing the Amazon EC2 container service. A highly scalable, high-performance container management service. So I'd like to invite Paul Duffy, head of product manager, managing marketing in stage, to give you a demo of the new EC2 container service. So what we showed here with EC2 container service is how it's straightforward for you to take a heterogeneous cluster of EC2 instances that are managed by this service and deploy this somewhat complex distributed application. Who better to come and tell us some more about Docker, the company, about Docker containers? I'd like to invite Scott Golob, CEO and co-founder of Docker, on stage. And that's part of the reason why I'm so thrilled about the uh, EC2 uh, container service launch, uh, because it really does respect this notion of being integrated with Docker Hub and using native interfaces and enabling app portability, not just within AWS, but between on-premise and AWS. I want to introduce to you something that's very exciting. It is AWS Lambda, which is an event-driven compute service for dynamic applications. You can wrote, write code without having to manage any infrastructure. And I'd like to invite on stage Neil Hunt from Netflix. With Lambda, we can replace inefficient procedural systems that would pull the infrastructure for updates in order to manage and control we can replace it with declarative rules-based systems triggered when events happen that manage and adapt the data processing fabric to respond to the needs and interests of what we're trying to accomplish. For all of you that want to try out this service, there is a free tier, for base free tier for all customers each month where you can get up to 3.2 million seconds of execution and 1 million requests.
Also, I'm proud to announce new EBS volumes. Of course, earlier this year, we already announced the general purpose SSD instances, but you can now have them up to 16 terabytes with 10,000 IOPS. And I'm proud to announce that we have a total new compute instance for you called C4, which is based on the Haswell processor. I would like to invite Diane Bryant on stage from Intel. The Haswell processor that you just talked about is an exclusive processor designed specifically for Amazon. So now the, your customers have the fastest, highest performing EC2 instance on the planet. So thank you very much for that. With that, I hope we've given you a, a great view of what the future of computing in the cloud is going to be. So go build, please, now. Thank you.